Hello, my 3D printer peeps. Hello, Creality K2 Plus users. Inside this little green box is the latest revision of the Creality K2 Plus extruder. Now, many of you may be wondering, do I have the latest revision or do I have a previous revision? Looking toward the side of the K2 Plus extruder, you will see the screws are tapped into the housing of the extruder. Here on the new model, you will see they have installed threaded inserts. I am told the old extruders are no longer in circulation and any new extruder purchased or received is in fact the newest revision. I'm going to walk you through the installation of the new extruder and while we are in there, we'll go ahead and install a new extruder stepper motor as well since Creality was kind enough to provide one with the new extruder. Let's pop in to our K2 Plus and get this over with. You can move your K2 Plus print head to a comfortable working position by simply grabbing it and firmly moving it about. The first thing you'll want to do is pop off this cover. Simply squeeze the cover and pop it off. Here at the top of the extruder, you'll find your PTFE tube and this coupler. The black ring above the coupler is your release. When you depress this black ring, teeth inside the coupler retract, allowing the Bowden tube to be removed. If you yank on it without retracting those teeth, you will ruin that coupler. Do this very carefully. Here you can see where the teeth were digging into the tube. Should you yank this out without depressing this ring properly, you will destroy the teeth and this is ruined. Connected to the extruder is the extruder motor right here. You will see there's a little touch of glue on it. No need to overcomplicate things. I use a dollar store weeder. With the glue removed, you should be able to grab this little connector and work it off. This is a bent nose plier. I'll link to it in the description. Remove this screw and remove this screw. These screws are not the same. Take note of which one came from where. With those screws removed, locate this screw and this screw. Remove them. Both of these screws are identical. Here on the other side of the extruder, you will find one more screw. Remove it. With all these screws removed, pinch the extruder body and work it forward. You'll see the extruder comes out with the stepper motor attached. Grab the extruder and the stepper motor and simply pull them apart. Remove this final connection to free the extruder. Those of you going the extra step will need to disconnect the motor as well. Flip the motor up and you'll see this long cable. Pinch it and simply rock it off the stepper motor. Your stepper motor comes with a new cable. I'm going to use the existing cable. If you have any doubts, use the new cable. This cable already has the bend in it from the previous motor. Take advantage of that to help get the right angle to install the new motor. I use my fingernails to push it in. So all you people that are always telling me to cut my nails, no thanks. Move this wire and this wire out of the way. This is very important. Here is the new extruder. Here is the original extruder. This extruder has the cutter and the new extruder does not. You will need to slide this cutter out and place it in to the new extruder. Simply take your finger and slide it out. 
slide that same cutter back in to the new extruder. You should be able to rock it back and forth. You will feel resistance and it will spring back. With the wires out of the way, carefully work the extruder into place. Please note the location of the screw holes. Grab the new extruder and connect its cabling to the bottom port. This one right here. You may bring the stepper motor forward a bit and connect the extruder to the stepper. Should you experience any resistance, depress the release lever to help get the extruder over the stepper gear. Connect the final wire. No glue is needed and work the stepper and extruder back into the housing. To help identify whether or not your extruder and motor are in the correct position, check the holes for the screws. You should see the threaded inserts through these holes. Go ahead and reinstall all five screws. One, two, three, four, five. It is now time to reinstall the PTFE tube. However, I do not like the notch cut by the original coupler teeth. So I will use a PTFE tube cutter and snip a flush piece of just the very end then in one smooth motion without testing i'll push straight down and i will not touch this tube again unless absolutely necessary the unidirectional teeth in that coupler will now grab this tube and prevent it from coming out replace the k2 plus cover and you have successfully replaced your k2 plus extruder and stepper motor Power on your K2 Plus. Before we can use our new toys, we need to go ahead and run some calibrations. Press on the hamburger. Press on calibration. Check all of these boxes. And press start detecting. Your machine will have a whole bunch of fun running a bunch of calibrations. Alrighty, with our self-check complete, it's now time to calibrate the stepper motor. To do this, you will need your printer's IP address. Touch the gear. Touch network. And write down the IP address. In your web browser, type in the IP address shown on your screen, colon 4408, and press enter. This will log you in to your K2 Plus. Look over here where you see console. Go to the description of my video and copy line number one and press send. Remain on this screen and wait for a result. Here is the result. This Chinese word indicates a successful calibration. Power cycle the printer. That is, turn it off, then turn it back on. During this time, you will lose the connection to your printer. My K2 Plus has rebooted and reconnected. Copy line number two and paste it into the console and press send. Wait for a response. Our response has come back, and this result needs to be less than 15. My result is 5.59, a successful 
calibration. With all the calibration done, I'm going to run a simple extrude before running a test print. Touch on the hamburger, touch on filament. I'm going to use an external spool. You can use whatever you'd like. Scanning in, Creality RFID Hyper. And pressing extrude. There we go. I have a successful extrude purging the black to the new orange hyper. Now would be a good time to run a full test print. And there you have it. We've replaced the K2 Plus extruder and extruder stepper motor. I'm Mr. Greg and you're on 3D Rundown.